I'm William Richardson reporting from inside Shank. Man, we're just at Maroney Stadium. The UConn men's soccer team faced off against the Temple Owls. UConn won by final count of 3-1. to one. This game was especially special for Coach Reed as he got his 400th win as in the NCAA Division One history. He's the 16th coach to accomplish the feat, and it's a very proud milestone for him. We were able to catch up with him. So let's go ahead and catch up on his thoughts, as well as thoughts from Sergio Campbell and Kyle Laren. Let's go ahead and check that out. You guys are able to constantly generate chances tonight. You guys got a lot of, a lot of corners, a couple of set pieces. I think we're just beginning to see each other now. And before, in the beginning of the season, we weren't as used to each other. Now, everything's just going. And it's been good the last seven games. And we're just we're getting into it now. We're getting our side now. How strong collectively is the team's performance defensively? Um, the team's performance defensively, it's been strong in other games too, in all conferences, actually. Yeah. Like I said, we're coming together as a team now, and we're all playing for each other. We're not, we're working together. Has there been a key in practice to making this team be a little more cohesive and put together stronger defensive performances? Uh, I think just working hard and playing for each other, and if we keep doing that, you know, we'll have a sense of practice. Did you give your coach a hug after today? <laughs> I mean, I knew about it three games ago, yeah. and, I, <laughs> and now it's just... Hopefully we got it for him, man, because he's worked really hard for us. And the uh, knowledge, you know, he's been here, he's worked really hard. He's always here early in the morning and doing everything to get, make us a better team. What does it mean to be part of it? He's had a lot of great teams, but to be part of the team helps him get this milestone. Not many coaches get this. Yeah, I mean, it means a lot. It means a lot to me, too, because he helped, he helped me get here and play. And make, make, he made me a better player. So, making me a better player in the future will help me out too. I mean, I don't really know. I just tell myself, wherever the ball goes in the box, I'm always going to try and find it. You know, if I can find it, I either can get a shot and goal or I can set someone up. Did you see Laren on that play? Or was it you just trying to get it close I, I just wanted to get it back in front of the goal. Hopefully someone from my team could get at it. <laughs> Rate your, your team's defensive performance tonight. I know they got that nice little bender in the second half, but overall they didn't have too many opportunities of high quality. Yeah, I mean, we were, we were communicating a lot and trying to stay together. That was the key thing. We were communicating. The back four and the central midfielders were communicating a lot. And I think that kept us together. Can you make your coach blush? From it? He's got his 400th win today. How much was that on the mind of the players? And trying to, to be honest, we didn't really know about that. You know, but he's a good coach and congratulations to him. Feel nice to celebrate that with him. I know he's not going to really talk about it or enjoy it too much tonight, but uh, <laughs> you see how see how he looks over here right now. I mean, this guy's a winner. You know, it's only going to get better for him. You know, and with the group of guys that are here, the future is in a good end. Twenty six years, four hundred wins. It's only going to get better. Yep. <laughs> Thanks, Sergio. Thanks, Sergio. In a cold, wet, really rainy day, you kind of think it's going to be sloppy play, but it looked like your team really played yeah, well together. Yeah, I think you guys played right. well. I think they were resilient tonight. Those conditions are kind of what we're playing. I thought, I thought they played well. I thought Besto was good. Kind of, I mean, the really, the last two games, we're really starting to see the best of each other. You know, he's just come back from being out all last year. He's finding his form. Uh, and then uh, Sergio was very good. I thought Nowinski was good. And we played some pretty good soccer in the second year. They score that kind of cracker. Great goal. Uh, and and uh, you guys all put a fold in my back. These guys are getting tough. They're tougher, they're resilient, they're good with the place. How would you rate the team's defensive performance together this season? Our, oh, to get today? To yeah, together, I, I, think, I think probably the last, since we started the league, we've been pretty good. We started the league. Did you see something click with these guys? In I, just time time think, I just think we need time. We have Dylan's a freshman, Elliot's a freshman, Jake's a sophomore, Scott's a freshman. Cody's a freshman, Bonnie's a sophomore coming out of position. Bruce, he is a freshman. Jack is a sophomore, and I'm a sophomore. What do you, you guys have any experience? My name's best in the soul. It takes time. I'm going to ask you about the 400. I, uh, did you get a little time to yourself to collect it in that walk over off the no, field? No, no. <laughs> You know what? I'm fortunate. I love what I do. I work at a great university that's been able to allow me to go out and get the best assistance in the country and get great players. And I'm a lucky guy, and I mean that.
and the wins come because we've got really good players, including assistant coaches. And I'm blessed. There's a lot of guys in America who want this job, and I got it. I'm very, very blessed. So I'm happy for them. I'm happy with 6-6-2. Six, six, we're 4-1-1 one, in the league. Saturday night with SMU now becomes a real big game. I'm happy. I'm happy for the kids, you know, and I really mean that. And, and the first, the first 394. I'm a lot quicker than the last six. <laughs> you know, Division one coaches to be in the same breath as those coaches. Well, you know most of their names too. Yeah. I'm not worried about SMU right now. <laughs> 400 wins means I'm getting. But you know when I started, I had a full head of hair, had a beard, I actually had long hair. Well, now Sergio like says you're going for another. Now I look like somebody's though. grandfather. <laughs> Another 26 years? That's what he says, right? So you got more, more in you, he says. I will hope Susan Herbst will give me another 10. That's <laughs> about what I got left, 50, 64. I go to Florida and relax. Let somebody else stand on that and <laughs> Feeling a lot better about this team after yeah, I'm today happy with the team. than before today. Yeah, no, but they've been good. They've been good, man. They've been good for a while. I'm happy with the group and tonight with some tough conditions, for sure. Tough conditions to play. That's the equalizer. We play a team like 10. That weather is the great equalizer, so all guys overcame, overcame it. it great. You mentioned after the Syracuse game that the key to making it to the tournament was essentially the conference. After winning a game like this, 3-1 against the conference rival, does it give you momentum going forward to the end of the season? Yeah, just, you know, our season is one game seasons right now. Don't worry about SMU. So you heard what Kyle Lahren, Sergio Campbell, and Coach Reed had to say. Now back to the game. We saw three goals from UConn. The first goal, two of the three goals coming from Kyle Lahren. His first goal coming in the 16th minute of the game off a beautiful penalty kick. Temple set him up perfectly, and he just knocked it in. The goal equalizer for Temple came in the 50th minute of the game, scored by Stefan Mueller. Essentially, UConn just lost, miscommunicated on defense. The second goal for UConn came at the 55th minute of the game. Kyle Lahren also got that one as well. Off an assist from Sergio Campbell in front of Temple's goal. Really beautiful shot. Sergio Campbell played the ball very well, and he was able to essentially set up his teammate for the perfect goal. And then UConn got another goal about 10 minutes later, a goal by Ethan Vanacore Decker off an assist from Jacob Nowinski. Again, beautiful teamwork, just setting up the players, doing exactly what they needed to do to win the game. They're now looking forward to their next game, which is also at Moroni Stadium, against SMU on Saturday. Reporting from inside Shankman Center, I'm Wayne Richardson, and this is UC Sports.